All right, let's quickly compare VHS and mini DV. So VHS is the last analog magnetic tape um, sort of storage medium for consumer video recordings. And basically it was the most popular storage format for decades from the 70s up until the 80s and 90s. Um, so this one here, for example, is one of the longest uh, playing ones. It stores four hours of video in a uh, PAL signal. So uh, just a note that um, the, the uh, VHS standard could support PAL and NTSC uh, recording and playback. So on NTSC devices, the uh, tape ran slightly faster and you lose about uh, one third the recording time. So, since this is sold in Britain, only the, the PAL um, duration is quoted. Um, normally, this came in a boxes like this, and uh, they would come with um, a sticker or set of stickers that um, you would stick, like uh, la label stickers, I should say, that you would stick here, and on which you could write down the uh, the title of what you're recording. But with this, with this one here, I'm guessing it's because it's meant to record live broadcasts of football. So what they've provided is um, a sort of uh, an index with many more rows here. So you could write down the uh, start and, and, and uh, counter. So remember with this uh, format, you can't actually jump um, to a specific part on the recording. But on your um, v, uh, VCR or, or VCP, there they should be a, a numeric counter that sort of runs up and down depending on whether you're playing or rewinding the tape. And, and that's how you would um, track the location of the program. Um, one other thing I wanted to say is um, with all these formats, there are also smaller cousins which basically use the same technology. So for, for VHS, you, you have another format called VHSC, which is a slightly more compact uh, cassette and that will go into smaller uh, sort of handheld camcorders for producing home videos. The larger professional video cameras could accept full-size VHS uh, cassette um, but those are, are really large and expensive. So following VHS, the, the um, next format that sort of took the industry by storm was DV. And here we have an example of a mini DV uh, cassette. Now, again, um, remember these things are a bit like SD cards. So you have the full size SD card and then you have mini and then micro SD. So once again, this is the smallest of three sizes that the uh, DV format came in. And DV was the very first digital storage uh, format to hit the mainstream market. So this came out in 1995 and they all hold about, as you can see, a 60 minutes of video, which can be extended to 90 minutes using long play. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of, of, of all that, but uh, when using long play, it's a bit more susceptible to, to errors um, and compatibility issues. So this is the very first digital uh, medium. So this records in DVD quality of 480p with a bit rate of 25 megabits per second. So if you do the math, um, it seems more these tape cartridges can hold about 11 gigabytes of data. Um, remember this is back in 1995 when um, you know optical disk and flash storage were were a fraction of what this could do. So if you wanted to store well, videos, then you had to use tape storage. Um, one other thing I wanted to say is, um, well, you can see the size difference here, but one other thing I want to say is VHS was also used for other uh, purposes later down, uh, later through the years, I should say. Um, one of the things that was quite interesting and it's very rare is that it was used to store digital audio as well. And that was um, uh, much later in its life cycle. So, uh, it wasn't a very popular format, but if you think about it, the amount of digital data that can be 
sort of encoded onto a, a VHS cassette. It's actually quite a lot. Um, and yeah, it was used to store high resolution uh, digital video as well. Um, but again, uh, those are all sort of pseudo formats that basically just use VHS, the uh, physical tape to store digital recordings, but they don't actually comply with the VHS standard. Um, yep, so just before, um, before I end, just want to point out the copy protection mechanism. So with VHS tapes, there is a, a tab here that will push against a switch in the VCR to tell it, yep, you're allowed to write to the tape. So to protect your tape, you just snap this off. And then if you then decide you, you want to um, continue recording over the tape, then what you can do is use a, a piece of cello tape to, to tape this up. Um, and that will s serve the same purpose. Now on the uh, newer mini DV cassette, there's a switch over here that you can sort of tell it to, uh, yep, to record or write protect. Now one thing I should say is you will not find a mini DV uh, sort of consumer deck kind of player that plays this um, to your to your television. So the way. Uh, people would play mini DV uh, video footage was basically to, to take their camcorders with them and hook them up to, to their TVs and show the uh, footage to their friends and family members that way. Um, however, with the uh, smaller VHSC um, cassette that came out of camcorder, that's kind of cross compatible with uh, standard VHS uh, tape players. So you could just stick that in an adapter and Back then, everyone had a VH, uh, VCR or, or VCP in their homes and you could take that with you and go to your friend's house and play the video footage and uh, show them what you've recorded. But, you know, the, uh, the thing about mini DVs, although they made camcorders a lot more compact and uh, gave it better quality recording because it's digital, um, the one thing it lacked was um, uh, wide stream support for playback. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching.